It's January 8th. Look right here. Uh, this is the one at one real positive of uh, doing like software to draw and that I use. I use most of it like paper, but I can mirror the drawing and it gets right down the center so I don't have to measure. And that's the part that I like. Uh, and then I turn off the mirror and start drawing. Because if I didn't, then the TV would be on the opposite side of the other side and that would just really piss me off. Sometimes I hit that by accident. And then I find out after I zoom back out, and it's like, ah, oh, I got to erase like 25 things. It's January 9th, 2019, 4.56 p.m. I got a late start on this cartoon. Um, I I surrendered my bedroom last night slash office so uh, a couple of girls could have a girl talk. It wasn't a, a huge problem, nothing but I let them. It was like the... the the quietest place in the house where they could hide nobody else could hear them. And then I finally crashed it and got them out of here by around midnight. But way past my nap. Um, so, yeah, I drew another TV. And I even drew a cliche. But it's not my fault that I drew a TV. Because Donald Trump is on everybody's TVs in the country. On every network. So, I don't feel bad about this one. I don't even feel that bad about the cliche. Because I had a couple other ideas and I settled for the cliche one. Because I felt like I was doing it a little bit differently. You know who does the best cliches and does them where it doesn't really make me angry is Tom Tolles. He did this one where Trump was painting himself into a corner, which is a huge cliche. But in that corner was Robert Mueller's office door. And I, that just killed me because I wish I had thought of that one. But I am seeing way too many Humpty Dumpty cartoons this week. Ugh. So many Humpty Dumpties just, just killing me. All these Humpty Dumpties. Anyway, um, I actually had fun drawing this one, and uh, yeah, I just had fun drawing it. Uh, but I'm always intimidated when I have to duplicate the the panel again. It's like I got to make everything land right well, from the faces, the you know how the shape, the size of everything, the size of the TV, the size of the couch. At the very end, after I had drawn everything, I put a cat in here. But you don't get to see that. Um, not on the video. Go to the website, claytunes.com, and see the kitty. Uh, you see it in the final when it pops up here. And I also changed Nope to Not Anymore. And then I asked Hillary, my proofreader, which one she thought was funnier. But she didn't get back to me until like 9 after I'd already sent it out to my clients. And uh, she told me Nope was funnier. But I was like, well, we're sticking with Not Anymore. You'll see that too in the final. And it pops up for 10 seconds. Um, we're going to start with our comments because TJ says he's unaware of any credibility that comes along with anonymous posting on a YouTube comment section. Um, all right. And he says, don't talk to me about lies when you know nothing about truth. And then the guy that doesn't want to talk, be talked to about lies says, President Trump didn't lie during a speech tonight. So you gloss over that and move on to the next Democratic talking point. Um, it's not about Democratic talking points. It is about truth. Okay. Um, Basically, Trump did lie. He lied about the shutdown was requested by law enforcement. It was not. It was requested by Donald Trump. Okay. Um, he says a new trade deal will pay for the wall. That is a total lie. First off, the trade deal is not complete yet. You know who, who fact-checked that one? Shep Smith on Fox News. Yeah, Donald Trump lied his ass off last night. Um, the other lies are... Um, Illegal border crossings have been decreasing steadily over the past decade. Most drugs entering this nation pass through ports of entry, and people here legally commit far less violent crimes than those born here naturally. And most here legally entered with visas, okay? The crisis is not on the southern border. If there's any crisis on the southern border, is to win the Donald Trump created by, by separating families and throwing children in jail. Now, if you want to come back here and talk about how I don't know about the truth, while well, you uh, defend Donald Trump, of all people, I mean, that's just fucking laughable to just say, oh, you don't know anything about Donald about truth and Donald Trump, everything he said what was fact. You, you just lose all credibility right there, buddy. Just ain't got none of it. All right, Robert Patino says he's been hearing the TVs in the background of these videos for weeks. And someone else just caught it. I'm sure lots of other people hear it, but they just don't really think anything of it. Um, it's on right now, but actually I have it a little bit too low, so you probably can't hear it. Um... Robert said it's really unfair for me to pick on Satan like that because he has a reputation to keep, you know, being compared to Dick Cheney. Hey, I'm not the one who brought it up. It was Christian Bale, you know. Um, 
And Akenta likes the cartoon but has no interest in seeing the movie Vice. I actually want to see it. I do. I like political movies and movies about the press and stuff like that. Like uh, like The Post. Or Yeah, I had to go see that one. Uh, actually, I didn't go see it. I rented it. Um, I even like the paper with Michael Keaton, even though it's not a lot of reality to it. It's just fast-paced with the news business, and it makes it look so exciting working on a newspaper. <laughs> Maybe in New York City, it was that exciting. <laughs> um, and then they, uh, Kenta and Arrow go back and forth about Andrew Jackson and about how that's not something that they teach you in school. They just teach you, oh, look at this great president. Andrew Jackson, though, looking back in history, it was like Reagan to Democrats. Uh, like Reagan is to Republicans today, or Reagan was. I think Donald Trump's going to kill that. But um, he was like their hero. Uh, Democrats for decades afterwards said, I'm a Jackson Democrat. Like people say, I'm a Reagan Republican now. Yeah, Jackson had, and the thing was, Jackson was a horrible, horrible person. He was just horrible. Uh, which is why Donald Trump has a portrait of him on his wall in the Oval Office. Uh... And I, Ariel liked the, the way I had the nose hanging over the gun, the last cartoon. I totally forgot about that when I drew this nose. I might have some nosy cartoons this week. I am going to try to make my next cartoon not feature a t television. And then Ariel gives me a big lecture about uh, when I talk about Big Slap, how it's, uh, it was originated at the term male dominance over women. That is true. That is true. So, just like still sexist to use it. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, but I think that's just really being too squeamish about everything. Seriously, I mean, I it, it's not what it means anymore. And and I always say if you have to explain what something means, maybe you shouldn't say it. So maybe I shouldn't refer use that term. Um, but to me, when you call someone a bitch, isn't that originating as a female dog? So, um. I don't think of women when I hear that, that B word. Um, but I do think of a lot of people that classify as that word. And very few of them are women. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, we can go back and forth about that. I, I don't want to be politically correct and sensitive about every little thing, though. You know, every tiny little thing. You gotta watch where you step. You gotta watch where you step. And watch out. Wait, there's one right there. There's another little bomb. You know, just... And I know I sound like a conservative when I say that, but I'm just not going to live in fear about what I say because I think people understand where I'm going, what I'm saying. So, uh, uh, and then we talk about making mistakes in a cartoon, like on stage, you don't tell the audience. It goes for all performers, pretty much. Errol's right about that. And Errol thought the TV looked like a TV on the last one. This one looks more like a TV, even though I kind of have it at a slanted view, you know, but that was okay. I had to squeeze it into these panels. Um, da, 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 da. And Arrow doesn't think it's a big deal to draw people on TV. I've had other people tell me that too. I mostly, only people that told me that that you shouldn't draw so many TVs because it's such it's a cliche in itself has been other cartoonists who will also occasionally cave and draw somebody on TV. You can't really get around it though because that is, it's like Arrow has said, um, that's what most people do. I, I don't like, the reason I don't like it is that it's not that I don't like it. I do like it. I like doing it here. I like doing it in the bars like Akenta likes. I just don't like doing it all the time. Um, if I did it like once a month, I'd feel much better about it. I've done it like four times in the past week though <laughs> here. And you know what? Nobody would really notice. Okay, we're about done. And I think I got everybody. Um, so, yeah, I did. Here it is. See, there's the kitty. And I changed it to nut anymore. I had to make that cat really small though. Which is fine because my roommate brought home another cat last night that apparently is just going to be foster for a few days or weeks. Which means, in this case, months. And it's tiny. Yeah, that's another reason I started late. After I woke up, I had to help them give this thing a bath. Three of us. But it was real easy. It just sat there like, okay, do whatever you want to do. So it wasn't fighty at all. All right, guys. Uh, click the red button, subscribe, and you will get another video tomorrow. This is 3.42, right? And... Goodbye, goodbye, bye, 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 bye.